Okay, so last but not least, this is for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, the week of July the 2nd through the 9th, a day or two, one way or the other, uh, might apply if this is for you. Uh, first of all, first quick note, I've got sales going on for private readings. Check those out, website, or send me an email, and we'll get that process underway. Also, at the end of this reading, I'm going to do your love reading. You can check it out. I'll leave that link down below also. Okay, so here we go, guys. I got a quick uh, something I want to ask you. <laughs> so apparently, my channel is what uh, happens when you come to a stall out. Channel stalls. Channel doesn't grow. Nothing happens anymore. Uh, people stop sharing, they stop liking, they stop subbing, and so things come to a standstill. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that's where my channel is at right now. So I'm asking you please to subscribe if you haven't. If you want the alert, ring the bell. If you want to go ahead and... Uh, share something, a video with a friend, or publicly in mass that is magnificent. I accept the gesture wholeheartedly. My channel needs to grow. I'm stuck, guys. I'm stuck. So I'm asking for your help. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And the comment section is open again, guys. Now, play nice. The last time I had to shut it down, because confrontational with non-believers and it got a little bit ugly between some of you guys and you remember who you are, I'm sure. So let's try to not do that anymore or because I don't want to have to shut down my comments again. So let's keep everything friendly. You have your doubts, you have your misgivings, you can even share your opinion. We're open to that. Let's just not be hurtful in any way. Or I will turn you in for being abusive. So, now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about my Aquarius friends for the week of June 2nd through the 9th. I need five cards down. Work. Home. The hangman. That's, um, oh, what is unexpected? The ace of swords is representing you, and the knight of pentacles is the outcome. It's just a week, guys. It's just a week. Now, <laughs> it's just a week, but what's coming during this period? We've got the tower. A definite ending around something in your life. Now, I'm going to say, it's more connected to your home life because the disappointment is here in the home. So we're going to say when it comes to work, it looks like you're going after something that you want. Um, work just feels, to me, steady. Progress is being made. The right communications are coming along. Contracts are going to be signed for some of you. It's a period of time that maybe you've been waiting for business to open up. <clears throat> well, for some of you right now, business is opening up. Things are becoming more clear. And as far as work goes, there's a real sense that things are happening and the way you want them to happen, too. Now, in the home situation, though, we've got the Eight of Cups. So for some of you, there's been maybe some hurt feelings, disagreements between you and a spouse, or something, a situation that you had to turn your back on. It can talk about denial. There's a lot of things that can go with the Ace of, Eight of Cups, rather. 
and uh, you, to try to keep it as generic as possible there may be some hurt feelings here a sense or a state of being in denial uh, around your home life around someone or something or it's loneliness and you're looking for a new beginning a new start in your love life um, you may have already walked away from your situation which is where I think we connect the tower I think the tower here is really what's connected to the loss in the eight of cups um, you may have been left you may have left a partner there may have been a period of loneliness for you because what is unexpected is this period of sacrifice so some of you may have taken yourself out of circulation after the last breakup after the last stall in your home life you may have just decided to give up the hangman makes the sacrifice he walks away he doesn't approach a situation that he knows he can't win and so he stays restricted he confines himself to live without this to live without that home satisfaction and that's why he's up here alone so I think that some of you may be going through a period of loneliness now the card that sits in your position the card that represents your role is the ace of swords coming out of your shell your shell starting a new form of communication starting up communication with a king of wands someone who's fiery passionate if this is not you it sits in the position of your work though maybe you're starting up a new conversation with someone that you work with new beginnings are coming through for you after that slip after that downfall that disappointment that sort of took you out of what feels like the game of life even you stopped maybe associating with people maybe you in, went introspective for a period of time I could say even up to a year some of you are going to be going through that introspective period you're being asked to start a new communication with someone or start a new way of communication this can be Instagram Twitter Facebook make new associations that you can have new communications with join a group go to school take a night class because the outcome could be education but it gets you involved it gets you involved with your community with your neighbors with the people around you and it could be setting you up for something with a pentacle sign or a earth sign now <clears throat> let me see what I got for clarification so I think that you're coming out of a place of disappointment where home might be concerned it may even be talking about the home you live in and not the people who are surrounding you feels very grounded in its disappointment so to me the disappointment might actually be the home or the state of the home but there's something going on there an improvement is there to be made now let's see the ace of pentacles the new beginning the new start of something the uh, knight of swords he's aggressive he goes after what it is that he wants so I think this communication although it may have taken a period of time to get to this point you're really kind of ready to speak your mind about something and it's connected to the disappointment but 
this knight of swords, he aggressively goes after what he wants. His words are aggressive. His actions are aggressive. So you're starting over. Don't come over or don't come across too ambitious. If this is on the home front, too strong. Let's try to keep our emotions a little more grounded than what this guy gives out because he can be reluctant, angry. We don't want to come across that way in this what feels to me like a delicate home situation. Now we've got the Five of Swords. So for some of you, this delicate situation that's happening within the home, the harmony of the home, there may have been some infighting amongst the family. Um, I really think that the real goal here is to find a new way to communicate with one another on this home front. It feels to me like maybe communication on a certain subject in your home has been restricted. This brings about a new way of opening up on a subject for in your house may have been a closed subject. No discussion. At this time, looks like discussion is wanting to be opened up by you around this situation. For some of you, it's going to be a situation that discusses money. This just appointment, though, to me, left someone on the outside, which means there may have already been a disconnection or a severing or an ending in the situation. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, though, he might be walking a different path because he was disappointed in where he was. Um, the situation may have involved someone with a little bit of hostility, um, anger issues, and that led to fighting within the home. Some of you are seeking solace in work, frankly. The connection here between you, your peace of mind, finding peace of mind, and feeling grounded and normal, maybe that connection through work. And maybe you're looking to escape a bit of a rough family issue right now. But the advice here is to open up the communication and talk about it. Um, do I have another clarifier? The Ace of Swords. Open up communication about it. Start talking about it. If it's an issue in your family, it needs to be spoken about. Or it won't be dealt with in, in, in a normal, constructive way. And that's what this situation here going on for some Aquarius in their home is really all about. So that's what I've got for you for this week, guys. Let me thank you in advance. If you're sharing, if you're following, uh, if you're ringing the bell for the alert, my deepest appreciation. Again, comments are open, guys, so play nice. The comments are for you, not necessarily me. So you guys can get together there, but you have to be nice to one another. Okay, that's what I've got. Now I'm going to go over to Vimeo and run a love reading for you guys. I'm not sure where this really was at, whether it was children or uh, a spouse or a partner. I think we're going to have to go over there and start over from scratch and take a look at the situation in a new perspective. So I'm going to go and do that right now. And until next week, guys, it's only a week. And until then, take care, be well, and peace.